We did lose a lot from last year's team. We lost six seniors who were very important to our program and for four years had a very, very positive winning record plus a conference championship. Um, we had very experienced guards and we had obviously an all-conference post player. So that, they're big losses. However, we do have some players back um, that were injured that last year. Um, so I think that we will we'll be solid. I think we'll be running a, f a few more things that we didn't run last year, and we'll probably run some of the same stuff we ran last year and the year before. Um, it's not a matter of us changing what we're doing. It's a matter of becoming more acclimated to running it correctly and understanding how to get where we want to be quickly. I think it's a little different. We definitely have a different dynamic. A lot of us are playing different positions than we have in the past, me personally. Um, but I think sophomore year we had the best defense in the country, it will in D3, and I think if we have that again then there's no stopping us. So I think our defense and our hustle is really important. Offense will come to us. We have good offensive people who like to score. So I think as long as we buckle down on defense and actually get stops and get back to our number one defense, then we'll be okay. I think if we steadily progress, we will have the, the depth to make a run at the conference playoffs. And that would be our first goal is to get into that playoff. And then it's a whole new season and then make a run for the title if we could. Um, I think we're capable, but I also think a lot of other teams in the conference are capable. So typical Centennial Conference, I think there'll be five, six, maybe even seven teams that are just beating each other and last man standing, in our case, last woman standing will, you know, prevail.